Well, Akeisha Lockhart here for She's Got a Show, and you all, oh, hold up, hold up. So this is season four, David Banner. Thank you so much for being with Thank us. You. So I wanted to dedicate this season to the city you of Chicago. You have awesome teeth. Thank you. I appreciate that. Y'all see our teeth? That's, yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much. So I wanted to dedicate this season to the city of Chicago. And a lot of people may not know this, but you actually were born on 91st and Racine. So you are from Chicago, but you moved to Mississippi. So let everybody know. No, I'm, you... no, I'm from Mississippi. Like okay. that where where you were raised and where you, you, like you have a lot of people who were born in New York, but was raised in South Carolina all their life. Like, no, I'm from Mississippi. Mississippi is why I am who I am today. I was born in Miss, uh, Chicago. A lot of people don't know that. Uh, I was born in Michael Reese, but Either way it go, our family is from Mississippi. Where your roots are is where you're from. Like a lot of people, to make themselves feel good, they claim these cities where they don't own no land at. Like mm -hmm. I'm from Mississippi, my family is from Mississippi. Exit that slave boat in Africa, my family is from Mississippi. So like, I'll never shun like my people man, where I'm from. Like yeah, I was born here, but Mississippi is why I'm the man I am. And I definitely respect that, so definitely respect. So, what I want to know, and you said that you brought up an excellent, oh, fantastic point at your workshop just a few minutes ago, but you were talking about the importance of black people supporting black businesses. So, can you, can you let, let them know, the good people that may have missed this, unfortunately missed this workshop, let them know what it was you meant by that. Um, can I hold a mic? Bye. I mean, you're a little <laughs> aggressive. I mean, Excuse me. Oh, okay. Uh, what I was saying you, was... You see what's going on well, right here. Uh, this, you, this, you see this, this. This is what I tell people is that um, so many... Uh, this is just honestly how I feel. America, a.k.a. white supremacy, only respects two things. And two things only. It's the loss of money or the loss of life. Um, in order for us to be uh, protected and respected in America... We have to fight the war not with prayer, not with hope, not with marching, but either with our, our bare hands or with our finances. So the way that we can get our respect in, this, like, like in, in the world is black people spend more money than just about any other groups, a group of people on this earth, but we don't spend it on ourselves. So imagine the respect that we could have globally if we invested that money in ourselves. And the reason why I know that it's deemed by God, because look at animals. Like lions, deal with lions, and you know, they, they cool. Like, and they can co-mingle at times, that's not a problem. I'm not saying that people shouldn't be around each other, but you must take care of your own flock first. And that's just by law. And you know, even if you look at other races of people, like you have, you know, little China, you have little Russia, you have all these little places and like they, 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 they spend with themselves. You are supposed to. A young man told me this, and then we have to go to the next question. A young man said, I don't have a problem with racism. And I said, what do you mean by that? He said, race is the root word. Ism and ist is the act of the root word. So you're supposed to be racist. You're supposed to support your people. You're supposed to give your people the Grammys first. You're supposed to give your people the movie roles first. We just don't do it. You know, every race is supposed to take care of themselves first. And now that I understand it, it makes sense. I do have a problem with white supremacy. That's a whole nother bag of worms. But for you taking care of your people first, you're supposed to do that. So I just believe that black people are supposed to do what they naturally were put here to do is take care of themselves. Okay, th th thank you so much. Thank you for that, for the mic. Um, no, but everything you said, it makes, it makes great sense. So I'm gonna ask you this one last question because we gotta wrap up. This man is busy, he's got things to do. But for all those people out there, David, that are huge fans of yours, that would love to be in a position like you're in right now, can you give all those dreamers a single piece of advice, something that's helped you to sustain such a career like you have right now? Um, well, see, I, it was different parts of my career. Like, wh what's making me successful now is not necessarily what made me successful then. Um, I was obsessed with my grind. Like, honestly, I don't even tell people this much. I didn't, the career that everybody loves, like a Pimp David Banner and play, I didn't enjoy my career. All I did was work. All my other, my friends and all the people around me enjoyed my career. I always worked. Think about my career back then. 
I literally was one of the few people, I went from rapping straight to acting, then straight from acting to producing T.I. and Lil Wayne and all them folks, and then I went from that to doing activism. I never went home. I never enjoyed, I don't even know where all that money went to. You feel me? Um, so the thing that I would tell people is for them to love themselves, and not even in an arrogant way. Like now, like I know the God Box is gonna be one of the best albums in the world, but I know that it's gonna do well, not because other people are gonna say it or not because they support it. It's because I know what I wanted to do. The God Box is already successful. I've done something that most rappers haven't done or won't do in their career. Like I'm making music that touches people's lives again. So like for me, that is successful within itself. And I paid for it with my money. How many rappers can say that? Like everybody spend money on Louis Vuitton and Gucci, but they don't spend money on themselves because they really don't believe in themselves. I'll put all the money I ever made on me and the God Box. So that's what I would tell people, believe in you. Like literally believe in you, love you. Because a lot of reasons why a lot of these people can't love their wives and can't love their children is because they hate themselves. Most black people, and they won't admit this, most black people don't like being black. That's why it's not a problem to kill another black man. Because if I don't see no value in me, why would you think I would give a damn about killing you? I love me. I see God in me. So see, when I look at another black man, it's almost impossible for me to kill him because I see God in him too. You know what I'm saying? Now, I might have to beat the devil out of his ass, excuse me, but, you know, I'm just freeing him of those evil spirits. And for She's Got a Show, I'm Akeisha Lockhart, and that was David Banner. Woo!